How we doing, everybody? <clears throat> Mazzy back with you. We're going to show you another update here on the uh, paper land here. On the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Uh, you can see here, this is one we're doing for Frank. And uh, so I'm going to show you the update. Before I do that, I'm going to show you uh, my mascot. I finally got me a mascot for the shop. Very happy about that. I know Rick's got uh, Cletus over there and Mr. No Name. So we finally got us a mascot sitting here. Uh, mine actually came with a name. Uh, many of you may know my mascot. So I'm going to try and paint this up. I hope this little camera goes up high enough. So I'm going to spin around here and paint you up high enough, hopefully, to see him. And there he is. Cogsworth. Right there. Smiling at me. Say hi, Cogsworth. His little door opens. So he just sits there and smiles at me. I like the fact that he came pre named, tells me the time. Uh, he doesn't really do anything but stand there. He doesn't talk, doesn't chime, just sits there. So there's my mascot. My uh, beautiful wife got me that for my. Christmas for my little stocking stuffer from Disney, so I now have a mascot for the shop. So now we'll get you back down here. Oh, get her straightened back up again. So, the Hudson. Here is the beautiful car in all of its glory. Ain't that pretty. Uh, definitely not a color choice I would go by, but when you're drag racing on a budget, I guess this is what you do to make ends meet. You can see I still have wires running everywhere. Them's not connected yet. We have the seat out of the, uh, I don't point here. Just grab a paintbrush. It's news handle. We have the seat out of the, uh, 60 M Impala, Chevy Impala. Uh, the interior on the picture that I was sent had like a cloth, um, inside here that was like a grayish, and then they had the, it started going through the plastic, uh, like vinyl, um, fake leathery looking stuff on the sides by that year. So we went and we done the simulated cloth in the center mask got off and left it flat painted the blue on the outside which is what the seat was then we had and clear coated that with a gloss clear to give us the shine of the the fake stuff and then went ahead and left the rest of the seat um or rest of the interior the dull uh, colors it was we have the dash now done. Of course, the camera is not going to focus in. The steering wheel, I'm very disappointed on. I used the um, Molotov pin on the steering wheel for the Chrome. Yeah, there you can see it. I absolutely despise those things. Um, I should have thrown them away. But I keep them for like the door handles. You can see I've, I used them on that. They work fine. But on the steering wheel. And I still have a decal on the steering wheel. Um, they just turned out really nasty. Uh, the rest of this is my AK Extreme. I taped off and sprayed with the AK Extreme Metal. Um, I put uh, my glass lenses in. And I believe my epoxy had gotten bad because you can see you can't really see the decals real well. And it kind of left some bubbles in the glass in there. But you can still kind of see, see in it. We do have the glass in there now. I do need to get some new epoxy, I believe. We do have the floor with the um, flocking in there. Which is not flocking, it's the embossing powders. Uh, we have the engine 
this is detail that you've seen. Uh, go back up here a little bit. The underside, I believe you've seen. We now have the exhaust on. We've done a little bit of just heat sink on there. We have the tires, of course, sanded now. Uh, the exhaust or the fuel tanks painted. We got a little grease, a little grease stain on the transmission. Uh, let's see, so that should be about all for that. Now I'll move this over so I can set the. Oops, sorry, dog. Keep the dog. Here is our hood. I gloss coated the uh, paint after I put it on, sanded everything with 5000. Uh, it wasn't completely dry and I left the fingerprint here, so I had to re sand it again just a little bit. But after I sanded it, I went and put the decals on. So you can see I have the decals on. It says Hudson there now. I'm waiting for these to dry up. I just put them on an hour or so ago. So once those dry up, then by tomorrow I will put another finish on this. It'll be matte clear. It'll still have a matte finish on it. This is what we're going for. So that's the hood, which is done up. And then here will come the body of the car that we have so far. And this too has been sanded with 5,000. And now I put the decals on. So you can see we have the, the name on the top. I'm trying to see where I can touch them where I can't. We have the decal over here on the thing. We have the decal on the... Um, Firewall as well. And then now we have the the sides all with the decals on. I still have to paint and I actually have to open another kit and get the uh, fuel door because this kit did not come with a fuel door and or I didn't find it and throw it away. So it didn't come with it or I throw it away. One or the other. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's nothing for the back yet. I still have to. I think I'm going to. There was no decal for this. I'm going to dry brush uh, this using uh, Hunter's technique that he just showed. If, you, if you're watching his uh, tutorial series here on his little street ride he's doing, he shows how to dry brush. So I'm going to dry brush this raised. Uh, Twin twin inch power, I think it says there. So I'm gonna try dry brushing that. So if I mess it up, Hunter, it's your fault. And then of course now we have the decals on the other side, which is all done. So they turned out pretty well. And that's all for the body. So now this body's ready to tomorrow go into another coat of clear, which will be the Mac Clear. And then I have more decals. These decals here were optional decals, but they were not on Frank's dad's car in the reference photos I was given. So we did not put these on. All these other decals were on the windows, which are not in the car yet. These are on the front glass. These go on the side windows, which are not supplied with the car. You have to make them out of um, Lexan or some other, you know, whatever you want to make them out of. So I have to get a hold of uh, Frank and ask him if he wants the windows made to go in there and put these on or what he wants to do. Uh, then the rest of these decals here will go on chrome trims. These were going on the air cleaners, which we do not use. This will go on the radiator, which is not done. This one on the front grill. Uh, this goes on the the uh, da -da, don't know. I should do not know where that goes. I have to look that up and see where that one goes. But yeah, it's not important right now. So anyway, and then we got to detail up some of these little 
uh, electronic devices in here. So we'll probably wire to some of those. And we have a couple of little things here. We're down to just a few little parts left over here that we've done. We got the chrome bits over here that are in their final stages of being stripped. I'm getting the um, yellowish stuff off of them right now. It should be ready to take the rest of the the um, chrome or the yellowish stuff off of tomorrow. Once it dries some more, you should be able to see it flaking up there maybe so focus in it's just not going to focus in on it I don't want to fingerprint it there you can see it kind of drying up but you can see why you want to strip all this chrome there's a mold line here mold lines all crawl way across this across here another mold line here there you can see all the yellow stuff just starting to bubble up and dry up and crack and so that's why I'll just tomorrow I'll just take a brush and brush it right off all that yellow stuff will come right off and I'll have a completely clean part um, there was no one here that had really bad um, the other this is the front yeah here's the rear bumper I think but the mold line goes completely across the front right across the front center top then down the sides I mean it's just so you want all that to be to be gone so you have to and then around here look at that mold line and down the sides so you have to dechrome all this to get rid of those mold lines but you can see all the yellow those left under the chrome starting to just flake up and dry up and and uh, it'll all be gone uh, same with the other, I keep showing you parts and parts and parts there is chrome that has mold lines but here are the rims these were chromed and I've re-chromed those those have all been stripped and re-chromed and uh, they can be touched and handled they're not clear coated there's nothing on them you can touch them with your fingers. That's the AK. There's nothing else on them. Um, they do work out. And they look really good. Now I got something on that rim. It's like a piece of. But uh, it does. It is nice. It looks good. It looks more a lot more realistic than the. Um, factory chrome and if I had a piece here I would show you the factory chrome but I've already emptied the trash so no factory chrome to show you well here's a piece of some other kind of factory chrome from some other kit you can see the difference And the chrome much more realistic with this one than the other there's the front rim again and kit chrome so it's much much more realistic my god we're up 13 minutes people already sorry about that um all right so i'm gonna wrap this up i've been sitting here rambling um bored i guess all right, sorry, uh, Matthew. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.